Welcome back everyone, it's Kevin and today we're doing the number 3 of the KDA group. I'm on my mini factory, the model is from Printed Obsession as usual. So let's get printed and let's paint. Okay, so here I have one wings and the bottom part of the model. I make sure the wings is facing upward to, ma to make it easy to print. I had just some tiny light support, so not complicated. On the bottom part of the legs, I had a bunch of support here at the bottom of the shoes just to give some strength and then some structure along the way. There is no island or anything, it's really easy to support. So on this one, not much trouble. Here for the second beer plate, it's the same, second wings. The top part of the model have some tiny island to support, but it's really easy. I'm just gonna add some support at the bottom here make sure everything stick to the beer plate. There is some island near the air, the bottom here, a bit at the front of the model as well, with the bottom part of the chin, the, the hair lobe and stuff like this, but it was really, really easy support. Okay, all the prints are done, everything was pretty easy to print. Here on the base, I've put some milliput on the slot. I don't want them to be annoying later on. I'm just gonna glue on top and put some pin. I've hollowed the base and then did put a giant hole. Uh, the goal is to save on resin and to make it a bit easier on the FEP and everything. The two wings were pretty easy to clean up. And for Kaisa, I've assembled the two models already. I've used some milliput for the gap and I'm gonna put some resin on top, make sure everything is smooth. It's a bit annoying because you have the two kind of like strap coming down on the pants and with the gap you have to kind of remodel it a little bit so I'm gonna do my best make sure everything is good I'm gonna prime it and then when priming black after you can really check if everything is perfect because when you put like midi put resin and you send over you don't really know what's going on but when you apply your black primer all the defects are gonna pop out and then you can come back send again and make sure everything is perfect so that was, that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to start painting, let's go. Okay, so for this model I'm going to do the classic route that I'm doing usually on the taller model. I just want a really clean and easy finish. So I apply some of my base coat for the skin here and then I'm going brighter and brighter when I'm going to dry brush. So I'm using almost the same skin tone that I always do. The base coat is the darkest part of my skin tone. And then everything I'm gonna dry brush over, it's gonna be brighter and brighter. So I'm not gonna comment too much, I'm just gonna let you enjoy the painting. I don't have a lot of stuff to talk about in this one, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. going on the pants right now. So it's exactly the same color as the other character, the same dark purple, going brighter and brighter over. What I do for this one, I'm doing the front part of the pants and the back part. And I try to emphasize a little bit, for example, the top of the calf and the ass and things like this. The quad at the front and the knee. I'm going back with the brush to clean the tiny parts, like the straps around the, the top part. And then later on you have to clean some of the mess as well. Going back with the skin tone, cleaning a bit of the purple which is bleeding around sometimes. I'm adding some small detail, folding line here and there. The wings were gold with one part that I choose to do in silver. I think the, the color is a bit different in the game, but it's hard to replicate with the what I had. Same for the hair. Here I'm sw switching on the base. I'm just dry brushing some gray, exactly the same as I've done on the other one. Silver on top of the letters. Here on the air, I'm just trying to mostly dry brush on one part of the, like the wave, the top part here, in the middle. 
I will later on darken the hair a little bit off camera. I will apply some purple wash just to make it a bit darker. Here what's really nice on the eyes, the inner part is like denting, so you just have to follow the small like half sphere denting inside to put the black. Then you just go around and do the iris with the color you want. So it's pretty easy to do. I'm adding some different color and tint, I'm cleaning around and then after at the end I'm just adding a bit of reflection inside. Some of the final detail, like doing some gold part around in the pants. Here the crystal, so I just glaze the bit, a brighter color going on top and then apply some really bright white line on the edges. I'm not too concerned to make it perfect, they are kind of hidden behind her, so the pose of the, the character is a bit annoying because the, those kind of crystal, I think they add a nice color to the, the model, but they are on the back here, so when I'm gonna glue everything, as you can see, you're not really gonna see the crystals. And I've choose to leave the gaps like there is right now, so I didn't try to glue, fill the gap and try to paint over, I just left everything as it is. And that's it for Kaisa. This one was pretty cool to do as well because I kind of nailed it in a way. Uh, it's not the best paint job in the world but compared to the first two I've done, I knew what I was doing and in the process everything went pretty smoothly. The end result is cool, it's really close to what I've done before, I didn't struggle too much, so pretty happy with it, I'm probably gonna do Ari later on in the, in the year. Hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more and see you next time, bye!